hey how you doing welcome to stacy coding in this video i will be telling you how to remove index.php from the url if you're using coding nighter and apart from that there is another video in which i show how to redirect from index.php to the respected controller and the controller mapping so make sure to watch that as well in the later video i'll be demonstrating why you need that so uh, this is the basic application setup as you can see right and let me also go ahead and uh, create one file uh, let's call that uh, steps dot txt right yep so these are the steps which you have to follow in order to remove the index.txt file uh, sorry uh, yeah index.php file basically uh, so the first step is to edit the config file second step is to uh, add the dot ht access file right and then you have to change the config of your apache uh, if you are using virtual host then you will have to edit the configuration of the virtual host uh, let me mention it here edit of virtual host if using them all right and after that you have to reload the apache service so these are the basic steps which you have to follow and uh, so we'll just go ahead and uh, get into it right so uh, let me just run the application first so that i'll be able to uh, you know show it to you because if i go then uh, i won't be able to if i go to the local host then i won't be able to run it uh, because I don't have the low lamp locally installed. I'm using it uh, Using the docker. So as you can see that this is the docker images I have on my system and this is that lamp image Which I'm going to use and by the way if you are uh, interested about it, then you can go to the docker uh, images and uh, You can just go here and this is the first link which you'll get uh, Don't worry about it. I'll be guiding uh, you on uh, while while I while I write the commands and I'll be showing you and everything is all, all also like documented here so uh, you can just you know uh, start in snap uh, it won't be any uh, difficult uh, difficult for you so by the way and uh, also feel free to mention in the comments if you want me to create a series for the docker uh, I'll be happy to do that so basically this is the uh, docker command which I'm writing it's saying docker run it ID means that uh, we want to start this uh, container in the interactive way and my uh, minus P it means that uh, we want to attach the port and this 80 port is on the uh, this 80 here means that it's on the uh, the host machine and here if I'm typing 80 then it means that it's, it is communi the okay in in the layman it means that port 80 on the host machine will communicate with the port 80 of the container right and here i also want to attach the volume basically it me this command what it will do it will copy all these files in the app it won't actually copy copy basically it's like a backdoor uh, through which will enter inside the container so that we don't really have to copy and paste the files while making changes so i will be making changes on my host system and they will be reflecting inside the container i will be showing you that in a moment right and now i have to paste the name of the 
image and we are done we are good to go so here it will start the apache mysql php mydem admin and everything and uh, uh, we won't be using mysql just a simple demo to show how to remove the index.php uh, from the url and uh, so once it's done i will be going to my terminal i think it's done right let's just go to the terminal and let me get the container which is running so basically this is the container which is running our code and this is the code uh, which is being executed so in order to enter this uh, container i will type docker exact minus it it again is for the interactive uh, session okay i copied the wrong thing i just have to copy this thing um all right i'll just go ahead and remove it so here as you can see that this is the container id right you can either use this or you can use the container name to enter inside the container i'll go ahead and use the container name and now you have to type the command which you want to execute while entering the container so i want to access the bash that's why i'm typing that and we are inside our linux machine uh, right and here as you can see that uh, this is the app folder which i was talking about and this app folder contains the code which is on my machine cool right and now just to prove that i'll go inside it and you can see it's here now uh, let's just go and uh, first of all i'll just go to the local host and i'll hit enter to show you that it's working right i do not have the low lamp locally set up on my uh, machine uh, basically on the map uh, on the mac uh, we use the map but i don't have any uh, inst local installation so that's why i'm using the lamp uh, using the uh, linux container by the way so going ahead moving further so we have to edit the config file right so the first step is that we have to remove this index.php file and we have to add the base url and in order to check it what i will do i will go to this uh, welcome container i will create one more uh, mapping here uh, let's call it hello right and uh, let's create one more view and call it welcome hello and let me go inside my views and copy paste this file and let me now i am changing the title of this page so basically if i go to if i if i have to reach that if i have to reach this method then i'll have to take the help of index.php and this is the path which i'll have to follow and you can see it's working right now if i go and duplicate it and if i remove it see it's not working right and that's what we have to fix so we are almost done and that's the change which we have to do in the config file and apart from that what you have to do on the root folder of your application you have to create a file it's called ht access make sure you type the name correctly and here you have to paste the code which i will be providing you in the comment section right so here you just have to paste that i will go ahead and paste it here and i will be explaining that later so this is the code which you have to paste right it basically says that uh, we want to enable the rewrite engine for this application and uh, here this is the main line it says that we are creating a rewrite rule and for whatever request we are uh, having we want to replace it with index.php question mark 
and then you know whatever is coming just paste it over here this is the rule which is going to help us in removing the index.php and uh, let me just go ahead and uh, yeah so here we also have to make sure that uh, the re we have to enable the rewrite rule of apache apache right yeah apache 2 or apache whatever so yeah we are done with that let me just go ahead and update it yeah we are cool so as you can see that we are done with the config file we are done with the dot xt access file and now we have to edit the configuration of the apache server so now if you are going to host this application on the godaddy or some other platforms where uh, they provide the support from for uh, php applications right basically like a shared hosting by the godaddy then you are good to go by uh, like till this step you are done your website or your code igniter application will start working but if you are using some uh, let's say vps or the cloud hosting right where you have your own server and uh, you did the installation of lamp or whatever uh, manually or the apache or you know you install everything manually then you have to go one extra step and that's why i'm covering all these steps for those people so uh, even if you are like done uh, by this step then i uh, request you to just wait and see like how we are going to fix it for those people right if they configure their own server and that's why i use docker so that i can uh, replicate that cloud environment over here and now in order to check or in, in order to enable the uh, rewrite module of uh, apache what we have to do we have to write this command it's called a2 e n m o d apache2 enable mod basically module and the module name is re write right and as you can see that it's already enabled on my uh, container or the cloud machine or whatever you call it right if it's not enabled then it will enable for you and now we have to go to the directory where apache is installed so the apache is installed here it's called right yeah here as you can see it's here let me clear it and you can see it's here apache 2 now see if you have the uh, virtual host configured on your server right and if it's running apache then what do you have to do you have to go to the uh, let's say mm, sites enabled right and you have to edit the configuration of that virtual host and what do you have to change that's what i'm going to tell you next all right so let me just go back right here it is and uh, i want i'll have to update this uh, apache2.conf and in order to do that i want to install the uh, nano because it's not installed here i have to install nano minus y once it's done i will be editing the apache2.conf file using the nano and uh, it's done so now let me just go ahead and uh, apache conf. you can see it's uh, i'm inside the uh, apache 2 conf file and here this thing as you can see it's saying that for the directory war slash www right you have to allow override and you have to change it from all to none to all and that's what you have to do in your virtual host as well if you do not have this line then make sure to add it and then save your configuration right i am done editing the configuration of the apache and now what i will do i will 
check the configuration and to do that we can type this command it's called apache ctl config test and it says the syntax is okay so now we have to reload the apache server and uh, yeah it's called apache 2 and then reload and once that is done then we will be able to go here and reload it and it's working right so i really hope that you got something from this video and this video was able to ha help you and uh, these were the five small steps which you needed in order to remove the index.php file from your uh, url now as i was talking earlier about the another video which i made right so what it does it re it redirects people from this url to this url right so it's like it's closing the backdoor of index.php and uh, i will i will be linking the link of that uh, video uh, on the ie section uh, must be popping up right now you can click over there and you can watch it so basically if i go ahead and click over here then still this is working right but we do not want that we want this thing to redirect our visitors to this url so that it can look good i really hope that uh, this video was helpful to you and please subscribe and it really encourages me to create more uh, helpful videos to the people and uh, make sure to check out other videos as well i really hope that i'll be able to find some good stuff for you uh, because i don't just you know talk about the coding here i also talk about the applications and which you can use in, in your day-to-day -day life saying and talking a much i really hope that this video was helpful to you and uh, in order to appreciate that please subscribe like this video and comment so that others can know thank you so much